Hello students, I'm Dr. Daniel, and today we're gonna to talk about monopolistic competition. The characteristics of monopolistic competition, you have many, many firms making very similar but not identical goods, and entry in the market is very easy. So, this is the graph of a monopolistically competitive market, and let's say we're dealing with hamburgers. There's lots of hamburger shops in any uh, big town. You have McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's and Jack in the Box and In-N-Out and then all the local restaurants that serve hamburgers. So you have lots of choices and all the hamburgers are very similar, but they're slightly different. So in the short run, if firms are making an economic profit, that is their price exceeds their average total cost, then other businesses will join the hamburger market. And that increase in supply in the hamburger market will decrease everybody's market share. So all the existing firms will lose market share. And as the supply increases, the price is going to fall. So how far will the price fall? the price will fall until it equals average total cost in the long run. Why? Because as long as excess profits are available to be made in a market where it's easy to enter, then more firms will enter. When the price falls far enough that there are no excess profits, that is economic profits are zero, firms stop entering and the market's in equilibrium. So at um, point B, firms are only earning an nor a normal profit and no economic profit. So they're doing the best they could do and nobody could do any better anywhere else. Um, but you will also see in long run equilibrium, the firm is producing where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And that's the profit maximizing level of quantity and the firm cannot do any better by producing anywhere else. So profits will only exist in the short run. And in the long run, as firms enter, prices will fall and profits will be driven to zero. Thanks.